Thanks to Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this video. The link in the description will bring you to some of the internet's best documentaries. You'll also get access to my streaming platform, Nebula. Stick around to the end of the video to find out more. Dichotomy is built into Kendrick Lamar's identity. His birthday falls under the astrological sign of the Gemini. Symbolized by the twins, those born under the sign are notoriously known to carry a dual or transmutable personality. And for Kendrick, the theme of duality has permeated into every aspect of his life and musical aesthetic. A gifted child growing up in the poverty of Compton, school and cartoons in the mornings, house parties and shots fired outside his door in the evenings. A mother that encouraged him to dream, a father that persisted he do better. These formed an attitude that pushed Kendrick towards his meteoric rise from an unknown to the celebrated rapper, poet, prophet he's become today. And throughout it all, he's been fairly vocal about his Gemini ways. The idea of two sides, contradiction and contrast have been essential in crafting the rapper's discography. Let's take a closer look at how Kendrick Lamar uses duality in his music. In his early days, the young rapper went by K-Dot, but dropped the stage name in 2009. Yet, dropping the name would only create more split versions of Kendrick Lamar. Lamar himself, Lamar the Rapper, and Kung Fu Kenny. With that in mind, it just made sense that one of his first references to being a Gemini would come that year in Welcome to C4. They know that it's K dot the Gemini with another cut like a samurai. Anything else is uncivilized. It came up again just before his first retail release. Very emotional, I'm a Gemini. I love hard and I fight harder. I'm born Arthur, I'm born starter. From then on, this duality Gemini trend would imbue all of his work. Section 80 features a small reference. Who can I trust in 2012? There's no one, not even myself, a Gemini screaming for help somebody. Hola. However, being a concept album that is mostly observational, it doesn't have a lot of room for introspection. Good Kid Mad City, on the other hand, is ripe with duality. The album is a stylized autobiography of Kendrick Lamar, the rapper persona, growing up in Compton. The album title itself contrasts two opposing ideas. The acronym within it is further divided into two separate meanings. My angry adolescents divided, and my angels on angel dust. The key word here is divided. While there are some obvious allusions to his double self, especially in something like the art of pure pressure, Russian nigga quick and then we laugh about it. That's ironic, cause I never been violent until I'm with the homies. Just riding. Which depicts the change of Lamar's character when he's around his friends. It also comes through more subtly in other songs like the irony in Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. I am a sailor. Who's probably gonna sin again? Lord forgive me. The duality of To Pimp a Butterfly hits you before you even press play. The incendiary cover of the album has a group of people parting with 40s and money on the White House lawn over the body of a judge. The album is then ripe with duality and contradiction, encouraging black pride in one moment Every nigga is a star. and referencing white race dominated America who regretted allowing African Americans out of slavery in another. We should never gave, we should never gave, There's even an explicit Gemini reference later in Wesley's theory. The rest of the album plays out similarly, walking the lines between political commentary and more traditional gangster rap. There's the added dichotomy of the two tracks, I and You. I is an upbeat, funk-inspired self-love track that starts the chorus with, and I love myself. And I love myself. Huh? I'm you looking at me. Yeah. Tell me what you see. Yeah. Whereas You, its flip side, is a song about self-doubt and depression, carrying the chorus, Loving You is Complicated. Loving You is Complicated. Loving You is Complicated. Loving You is Complicated. The Blacker the Berry plays out as a sort of duality, which both starts off with frustration against racism, police brutality, discrimination, and all of the issues baked into systemic racism but also has introspective lines about the gang lifestyle Kendrick grew up around. So why did I weep when Trayvon Martin was in the street? When gang banging make me kill a nigga blacker than me, hypocrite. Kendrick frequently raps about the duality of his life. A hero for all of hip hop, but also a man full of faults. For every boastful verse, another about his fear of judgment follows. But I possess qualities that you need to see. Look at my flaws, look at my flaws, look at my imperfections and all. 
Untitled Unmastered, the companion piece to TPAP, is a collection of demo tracks that all share the same theme as the previous work and contain even more explicit references to his Zodiac prophecy. A Gemini duality personality is always conflicted. While not mentioning the term Gemini once on the project, the twin duality mindset is especially indicative on Dan. For Kendrick's next major release, he stepped away from the larger ideas and focused on self, or both versions of himself. Again, the duality is shown before listening to the album, with the cover featuring heavy shadows, a light and a dark side, the white tee and Kendrick's black skin, the black and white highly incorporated parental advisory label. The track listing is also a Gemini, with the concept foreshadowed in the opener, Blood. Is it wickedness? Is it weakness? The album was designed to be played normally and in reverse order. I think like after a week of the album come, came out, you know, they realized you can listen to the album backwards and, and it plays as a full story and even a better rhythm. The collector's edition of Damn is also evidence that Blood and Duckworth are interchangeable intros and outros. The tracks in between are sister narratives, and the listener decides Kendrick's fate by how the album is played. You Choose one, and his soul devolves into weakness. Choose the other, and his vices lead him to a life of wickedness and ultimately death. You've lost your life. Is it wickedness? Playing Damn normally tells a more hopeful story of a rap star reconnecting with his roots towards a gradual enlightenment. Prideful to humble, lust to love, fear to godhood. This would God feel like. Flipping it evokes a much darker, introspective tone from the very start, showing Kendrick transitioning instead towards sin, God to fear, love to lust, humble to pride. But pride's gonna be the death of you and you and me and you and you. Even each music video for Damn has Kendrick wearing black and white, representations of good and evil, purity and sin, life and death. It was always me versus the world, until I found it's me versus me. In each visual, Kendrick is fighting opposing emotions and actions, like peace versus aggression or love versus hate, because Damp's central theme is duality, the duality of human nature, man versus man, but also man versus himself. It sees Kendrick questioning his life's path and giving thought to what another path might have looked like. Dichotomy is built into Kendrick Lamar's identity. Whether it's in his lyrics, cover art, or overarching themes, the Gemini duality Kendrick was born under is a concept that has been essential in every aspect of his life and music. From the good kid divided by a mad city, to the metamorphosis in breaking free from perpetual cycles on TPAP, to the contrasting themes of human nature on Dan. You can be sure that whatever Kendrick decides to release next will be rife with duality. Because of the fragmented, conflicted world that we live in, there are always two sides. Stays on Earth. Thanks for watching, ladies and gents. Give the video a like rating if you liked it. Subscribe and share it with a music nerd. And please, if you enjoy the content, consider supporting us on Patreon, and you'll get your name in the credits, access to the Middle Eight Discord, and other fun rewards. The link to support us is below. And while you're down there, check out our Spotify podcast, Playmate, where we interview artists and listen to their track picks. A huge thank you to CuriosityStream for sponsoring this video. If you don't know, CuriosityStream is a streaming platform from the guy who founded the Discovery Channel, home of Deadliest Catch, Mythbusters, Planet Earth, all of that good stuff. He created a streaming platform called CuriosityStream to bring more exciting stuff like that online, like David Attenborough's Captivating Light on Earth that looks at organisms that produce their own light. The platform is also home to a ton of content on dinosaurs, space, food, futurism, war docs, dogs, mushrooms, and of course, cats. And when you use my link below, you get CuriosityStream for 26% off, making it under $15 for the whole year. Plus, you also get Nebula for free, a streaming platform featuring even more content from creators you might know, Polyphonic, MKBHD, Lessons from the Screenplay, Tom Scott, and a bunch of others. So use my link below to try out the pair of streaming platforms for one reduced price. It really helps support this channel and allows me to help keep doing this as a full-time gig. Thank you for the continued support. Again, thanks for watching and keep listening to Kendrick Lamar.